primed with the e.l.f. Uh, mineral primer and then I use the foundation, the healthy foundation by Physicians Formula. Um, I am going to do a review on this. I have been using it for the past couple of weeks and I am going to film a review video for this specific thing so I'm not really going to talk too much about it right now. So now I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to be using the Quivange foundation brush because I'm also going to do a review on these brushes. So stay tuned for that. So I'm not really going to say much about this foundation yet, or the brushes really. Even though I think I did talk about the Colange brushes in one of my other videos and I said I really liked them and at least the um, little eye set is like a blending brush I um, brush set which was awesome um, I'm also going to talk about that in the review video that I'm gonna I'm talking about I'm thinking about filming I'm going to film at some point just bear with me and I do like to add another like layer of foundation um on like my problem areas just because I want to make sure it's all covered all nice and covered I have a pimple right here it really hurts like a lot. I'm trying to leave it alone. I'm trying to leave it alone. All right now, I'm gonna go in with my H Rewind concealer. I'm gonna conceal these some dark circles. My card was full, so I had to go and switch it out. All right, so now I set the face with the Cody Respond powder and under my eyes and stuff. So now All right, now we're gonna go in with the brows. So I'm gonna start doing my eyeshadow, which I'm really excited about. I finally got my hands on this baby, which is the Royal Affair by BH Cosmetics. I'm really excited. I've been eyeing this since it came out last month. It was around October, November, I think. Anyways, I went to Kohl's and they sell BH Cosmetics at Kohl's, which I was shook. Like, I didn't know that. 
So I definitely was excited when I saw the Royal Affair one. I'm going to be using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I cannot say enough good things about this. I love him so much. The whatever shadow I used before these things are awesome, by the way. Definitely recommend to get one if you do your makeup a lot or if you just... I don't know. I also think that this is really good for beginners because, well it's good for everybody, but beginners is, is going to help you get rid of a lot of excess um, shadow that might be on the, on the brush and it will help you get a smoother finish. So I'm going to go in with the shade Rain, which is right here at the corner, a light pinky shade. Um, tap off the excess and I'm just going to put this all over the lid everywhere just everywhere so this is going to be our transition shade sort of in the crease and just all over Grab Majesty, and I am going to use a really light hand and kind of put it on the crease, but very light hand. I want the most pigment to be on the outer edge. Make sure you tap off that axis because if not, it's going to be too pigmented. Okay. And you can do it like until you get the right shade and consistency that you want. This is how I want it to look. I'm going to grab the shade Regal, which is over here at the end. And I'm putting it on the outer V of the eye. And I'm kind of not blending, I'm more uh, patting it on. And I'm kind of bringing it in a little bit more as I pat more of the shadow in. I'm still keeping most of the pigment at the outer edge, but I'm kind of bringing it a little bit in. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to bring in that regal. I'm just going to blend it in with the other shadow that I had in and just making sure that there's no harsh lines and that everything is soft. So on top, with the same brush that I blend that with, I'm going to go in with the shade Prince. And I'm just going to put it on top of the shade that I used, the Regal one. And it's just to kind of tone down that. Kind of tone down that color because it was a little too intense. There is like absolutely no fallout with these shadows, none at all. I'm going to take this shade Lady, which is this really, really, really pretty pinky shade. And I'm going to put it all over the inner corner. Inner eyeball. I love using this brush for this. And this lady shit has a lot of pigmentation. 
All right, so now I'm gonna take this big brush. It's pretty big and fluffy. And making sure everything looks great. This is a very pinky look. I wasn't going for this pinky, but here we are now. Take the shade Honor, which is this one right here. And it's a metallic y looking shade. I swatched this actually. It looked so pretty. I decided I needed to put it in this look. And I'm putting it over top of Lady. And this is going to make it. Kind of tone down the pink a little bit. Like I said, this turned out to be a really, really pink look. The Ace Beauty Grandos Palette. And the shade Jasmine with a tiny itty bitty blending brush that I have. And I'm highlighting the brow bone. And then same brush. And this is one of the brushes I got with Boxy Charm. They're so tiny and skinny, and and you love them for like under under the eye and to highlight and stuff. So now I'm gonna take the shade Majesty, and I'm just putting it underneath here, just to kind of even out. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty top heavy. I'm just kind of to tie the whole eye together. And then I'm going to take Regal. Make sure you top that out because that one's really pigmented. And I'm putting it in the outer part. And not too much either, just a little bit. about these lashes there are the acerado cosmetics um lashes and i got these about a couple of weeks ago i got an email um they reached out to me they liked my style and now i have a affiliate code with them and i'm really really excited i hope you guys go and check them out um so let's see they're so pretty they look so fluffy so I'm really, really excited about them. Has anybody seen my phone? Not in a while. Oh, there it is. I believe my Harry Potter game needs me. <laughs> All right then. So I'm just gonna kind of measure them out.
like them. They're kind of really, 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 really not real. Lashes are extremely comfortable. Sometimes, like, where are they? These ones, the Morphe ones, they're called Smeechy. They're really pretty. They look really nice, but they're extremely uncomfortable. They, um... They hurt my eyes, and I am a contact lens wearer, so my eyes are already like having to deal with something inside of them already. So on top of it, lashes, and when they're really heavy, my eyes just get really tired throughout the day. So I kind of appreci I appreciate this very light lash. <laughs> All right, so now while I'm waiting for this glue to completely dry. Alright, so before I go into anything else, I kind of wanted to add a little pop of something into the eye look a little bit more because this is something you can wear to like a Christmas party or something like that. But for something holiday, you always need a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to put a little bit of glitter in this look and I'm actually just going to draw a little line underneath of the wing of my liner. So, just a little tiny. Just a little something, you know, to make it a little bit more sparkly like the holidays. <laughs>
all right and this is the final look it's what I came up with I'm gonna fix the hair a little it's already like a little um not straight enough anymore <sighs> um I really like the Royal Affair palette the colors are awesome um I have nothing bad to say they blended out nicely and it was just really 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 nice um of course I'm gonna talk about more about my beautiful brushes later but yeah this is definitely a holiday look that you can wear um you can do the same technique different shadows from the same palette and try to make it and recreate it or make something different I do recommend BH Cosmetics a lot like I said, it's never done me wrong at all. Every time I've gotten a BH Cosmetic palette, it performs perfectly well. So, something to really think about. Um, that's it. That's it for today. I hope you guys like the look. Um, if you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. That would be awesome. I will be... Um, <clears throat> sorry. I will be... Uh, uploading a lot more regularly from now on.